Week two of the NHL season is in the books. That means it's time for Bat Talk with Ronaldo Brown. Let's get right into it. I hope you guys in Leafs Nation were all good pros this week because we know our boys in the blue and white certainly were, taking six out of a possible six points from Monday through Sunday. Let's break down a little further how they did that. It all started in Dallas with a huge 7-4 win over the Stars. Then we went on to Detroit and beat them 5-3. This was probably the shakiest game of the three this week. And then we went into Washington and beat the reigning Stanley Cup champions, Ovi and Boys, 4-2. The Leafs take their record to 5-1 on the year, and I don't think anyone in Leafs Nation is going to be griping about this start, or we could have asked for a better start. What a great way to start the year in Leafs Nation. Go Leafs, go! The first segment of our show is called Good Pros versus The Commodores. The Commodores is the shit list. Mike Commodore is an ex-NHL player who talks crap about our head coach Mike Babcock all the time on Twitter. So he has the name of the shit list. Yes, you're welcome, Mike Commodore. And the Good Pros list is Mike Babcock when he says anything positive about someone in a post-game press conference. You know, he usually starts it with good. I didn't know you could spell good, G-U-D, but since May 21st, 2015, we've been spelling good this way here in Toronto. Let's get right to the list. Josh Levo, Tyler Ennis, both on the good pros list. He said that they were both heavy on the puck. He liked what he saw. Cappy, he's also on the good pros list after the Dallas Stars game. But what he wants from him, he says he did it for two nights. I want to see him do it for three nights now. You know Mike Babcock, never happy. No one's on the Commodore list. Mike Babcock didn't have a negative thing to say about anyone after the Dallas Stars game. So let's move right along to the Detroit game. Good pro list. Morgan Riley. Morgan freaking Riley could be on good pros list after every game this year as far as I'm concerned. But he said, Mike, sorry, Mike Babcock said he is finding his confidence and he feels like he can do and contribute and add points to every single game he's a part of. The Leafs in the third period in the Detroit game, you guys saw it, I saw it, they didn't play well. Well, Mike Babcock referenced that third period team calling them careful and saying that we need to keep the the foot on the gas pedal. So they're on our shit Mike Commodore list for game two. Game three, the Leafs in the third period. This was probably their best third period of the year. Mike Babcock didn't go without saying that. He also said Frederick Anderson was solid and that Par Lindholm gets the award. So far, the first guy to get the good player comment. Well, Par Lindholm, congratulations. You're a good player in Mike Babcock's books. The Leafs in the first 10 minutes. Jeez, we could put the Leafs in the first 10 minutes on every Commodore list. They seemingly start slow at the beginning of every game. Well, this game in Washington was no different. You could even see Mike Babcock on the bench say, come on guys, calm down. So they're on the Commodore list, but that's just for the first 10 minutes. That's it for good pros versus Commodores. Finally here at Babcock, we want to end off the show with the people versus Babcock. This is your way to get involved. Please message me. Hit me up on Twitter, Ronaldo Brown, at pinstripe underscore brown. Please hit me up with suggestions and things you'd like to see Mike Babcock do that maybe he's not doing. This is going to be the first example of what you guys get with the people versus Babcock. Let me give you a quick example. Right now, I'm pretty sure the people are asking for Andreas Johnson, Kadri, and Levo. I see that a lot on Twitter when people are creating their lines. Mike Babcock right now has Lindholm, Kadri, and Brown. Well, I even put out a tweet before the game started in Washington, and I said, I don't know about this third line of um, Lindholm, Kadri, and Brown, but you know what? They ended up playing really well. So as far as I'm concerned, with regards to the people versus Babcock on this one, Babcock wins. Second one, the people want Ozzy, Hall. They'll take Dave Vellett. They'll take Brian McCabe. They'll let me play defense as long as Marty six foot five all day Marinson is not out there. Well, by the end of the weekly station, we all got what we wanted. Marty Marinson was not playing 
defense for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they put Ozzy back in. Ozzy had a great game in Washington, maybe his best game of the year. So as far as I'm concerned, the people win this battle. We're gonna keep the people versus Babcock short this week, but if you have some suggestions that you would like to add and gripes that you have with Mike Babcock, please send them to me on Twitter and we can discuss them. That's it, we're done. That's it for the week for us. The Leafs face the LA Kings, the Pittsburgh Penguins, and the St. Louis Blues this week. I can't wait to have another week of Bab Talk for you guys. But remember, if you're going to do anything all week, do it like Hyman. <laughs>